The Curtis Wright XF-87 Blackhawk, originally designated the XP-87, was an American all-weather jet fighter interceptor. It was developed to replace the P-61 Black Widow as a night fighter and interceptor aircraft. However the XF-87 lost the competition against the Northrop F-89 Scorpion. This forced Curtis Wright to close down its aviation division. In 1945, the U.S. Army Air Forces issued a requirement for a jet-powered all-weather fighter. Curtis Wright had already begun work on an attack aircraft, designated the XA-43. This design was reworked to fit the new requirement. The reworked design was designated the XB-87. It was a large mid-wing aircraft, with four engines paired in underwing pods. It had a tricycle undercarriage. Two crew members were placed side by side. The intention was to fit a nose-mounted powered turret, containing four 20mm cannons, but the prototypes were armed with four fixed 20mm cannons. When the U.S. Air Force was newly formed, the XP-87 was redesignated the XF-87. The first flight of the XF-87 took place March 5, 1948. The performance was deemed acceptable, but the top speed was slower than expected. A month later, the Air Force ordered 57 F-87A fighters and 30 RF-87A reconnaissance aircraft. The prototypes were fitted with Westinghouse XJ-34 WE-7 turbojets, but because of the performance problems, the production models were to use the more powerful General Electric J-47 turbojets. The intention was to modify one of the prototypes as a testbed for the new engines. However, after evaluation, the U.S. Air Force considered the Northrop F-89 Scorpion a more interesting option than the XF-87. The order for production aircraft was canceled October 10, 1948. Only two prototyped XF-87s were constructed, and when the production order was canceled, the prototypes were scrapped. This was a hard blow to Curtis Wright's aviation division, which had to close down. The XF-87 became its last aircraft project. <laughs>